Hey, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. And in case you don't know what we do around here, we run marathons. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> we no, cook. We cook. And that today, makes way more sense. <laughs> that does, that definitely makes way more sense. And today we're going to throw another banger on here that oh, was an yeah. absolutely delicious one. Absolutely. I'm actually really excited about this. This has been recommended a whole bunch. Yes, it has. Including by some great YouTube friends, Zach and Dad. They have an incredible food review channel. In case you don't know, we used to do fast food reviews. Mm -hmm. There's such an amazing community there and we respect so much what food reviewers do. And it's so great to see them. Zach and Dad have especially been awesome. They're a great family friendly channel. Uh, if you get a chance, check them out. But in the meantime, we're gonna knock out this patty melt. I promised them that I would get this done and here it is. So if you wanna see our take on this classic, the patty melt, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the, the other one. one. I'm the, the other one. Like we said, welcome back. However, if this is your first time here with the wall twins, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. There it is. We do it together. <laughs> I love it. It's usually cooking. In fact, it's almost always cooking and threatening to throw Brett into the pool. Push Brett in the, I could not lift and throw Brett in the pool. Why? <laughs> No reason. But today we are cooking this patty melt and we want to talk about it real quick. We didn't grow up really eating patty melts. However, our mom loved them. Loved this was them. one of her favorite things to make. So we would get that smell in our house all the time. Actually, when we were kids, we didn't care for what's the sister sauce. What's yeah. this, is that what's, a call? What's this here sauce? What's, wash your sister sauce. Wash your sister sauce. Wash your sister sauce. But uh, yeah, mom did make these and they would smell amazing. And mom always made onions look amazing, but we always hated them. And now we're adults. We love onions. We are, I don't know what happened. Becoming big fans. But Brett, let's talk about the groceries. What are we throwing on All here? right, here we go. As you can see, the stars of the show, we've got these two giant meatballs. We were going to do a semi smash on them, which we'll explain when that process happens. We want them very very large to fit this beautiful marble dry bread as you can see right here. We're throwing on some Swiss cheeses, our, our cheese of choice for this one, and some onions we're gonna caramelize and make absolutely tasty and we're gonna be toasting the bread with mayonnaise. Absolutely, so we're excited. So we have the butter for the onions and we have the mayonnaise for the bread. Now, if you watched our grilled cheese video, which we did grilled cheese mayo versus butter, you know that our preference for grilled cheese was butter However, anytime we're talking about making burgers, we prefer the mayo. So we're gonna use that to help kind of toast up our bread. But let's start getting to it. This is gonna be a relatively quick Yeah, this cook. goes quick. Relatively simple. All we're doing, are the rains coming back in Central Florida? It looks like the rains are coming back, so we might be visited by some rain for this one, and that is A-OK. -okay. So we've got the griddle. Now, when we're doing smash burgers, we like it on high heat. However, since we're only doing kind of a semi-smash, we wanna give the burgers time to cook through without burning, we're on medium heat, but that's still gonna cook really hot, right in my hot zone, between 520 and 530. It'll probably even get a little warmer than that, so we'll keep our eyes on it. But first things we're gonna do is just a little off to the side, we're gonna start the onions, because we want them to caramelize without yep. burning. So we'll get those on here. Oh yeah, we're using butter for those. Right here. All right, yes, right there. So just off to center, because that is gonna be really hot, so I'm gonna keep my eye on it the best that I can. Don't get it. Listen to the sizzle, the crowd go wild. All right, let's just ah, toss these. You smell that? There's something about onions on the griddle that just make me so happy. Oh man, bro, these are smelling magnifique. Yes, okay, they and that are. is cooking really hot. You know what? We've got those on medium. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit, down to about 35 okay. after the hour because that is really hot and I'm gonna pull these onions off because these are gonna continue to cook, but we want to car caramelize. Here, Adam, let, let me help that caramel caramelization. All right, we did about one tablespoon. We're gonna toss another tablespoon in there as well. See, some of these are cooking quick, so we want to get these moving, and then as soon as this butter is melted, I'm gonna move this all together off to the side to wait for the show. So in caramelizing uh, onions, but basically make waiting till they're just about see-through, transparent. And that's when the, the, the sugars are all out of them. They're just so sweet, incredibly soft. Changes the consistency of them. Correct. They go from a crunch to a soft bite and you get the sweetness of the onion without getting the bite, mm -hmm. that, that extra zing. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are, we're starting to get some see-throughage on these. They're, they're getting a little softer. So I know these are soft. 
And here's the deal. When I pull these off, these are going to continue to cook. So we're going to move these off to the side here. Oh, look at that sizzle. I love it. Okay. Now, we've got these juices here that we want to leave. So when we place these burgers down, we're going to use a little bit of oil. We're using vegetable oil today. Um, this is just going to really make sure we're not sticking too much to the griddle top, but I'm also going to try to pull in a lot of those juices from, yes, there you go. There we go. All right, so we're going to get our meatballs. Get these on. Make sure they have plenty of space for the smash. All right, so those are on, and we're going to smash and hold these for about 10, 10 seconds. seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pull it! <laughs> Number Look at two. You. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it! Look at those. They're so pretty. <laughs> so you guys know I love my Goliath, my big press from uh, Blackstone. I picked this up at Lowe's, and this was the first. This was the first smasher that I got. I didn't like it because it has this lip. Because you're ending up with about a half inch uh, cut on these, and when you want a paper thin for the smash, it doesn't quite get to that yeah, consistency. Sure. So. All right, so wondering what the size of these are. Yep. Six, seven ounces. Normally for smash burgers, I use three, four ounce uh, meatballs. These were almost double those size. There Look we at go. That, sear. that is absolutely That's what perfect. we wanted, and we're still got. We're still not quite cooked. The good thing is. Look at that one. So that's clearly Dude, my hot again. zone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit on that. But we're going to let those cook for just a little bit. And we're going to get our Swiss Oh, also, off. Brett, I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry. yes. Oh, yes, you do. We have oh, some yes, you extra, do. extra Worcestershire sauce, some salt, uh, some salt, pepper, and Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. So we're going to put that in. Let's double these up. Crisscross them. Absolutely. Oh, the Swiss cheese smells so good. All right, and we are going to dome these up to really make sure that cheese melts and, you know, oh, get the steam. Oh, oh that's it. That looks amazing. All right, now we need to get the bread going. So here's what we're going to do. Get yes. me a mayo. I need mayo and a knife. Okay, so we're using the mayo as the toast, as the, excuse me, as the toasting agent right here. And I'm going to lay this down right here look at that all right oh Not it open. smells so good Can you see that that is unbelievable okay so again this is what we're using to quote unquote butter these okay so now that these are cooking what we're going to do is we're going to get our burgers onto the patties right brett onto the bread Onto the bread. Burgers onto the patties, you bet. Burgers onto the bread. Let that finish toasting there. Bread. Okay, so we got mayo to actually add to the juices on the inside and on the outside. I apologize, forgot to mention that. Oh, oh toasty. Oh, GBD. I was convinced they were gonna be birds. Oh, good job, <laughs> my brother. Right. You have to understand, there are some cooks that Brett and I just knock out. We're used to them. They're fun because every time cooking together is always yep, fun. Yeah, always. 
but there are some other cooks that we will laugh and get giddy because it's turning out better than we expected. Yes. This yes. would be one of those moments. Brett thought we were burned the, the bread. It ended up being perfect. We worked the heat, I think, very, very well. Yeah, absolutely, because like, when, when I do these, it's, it's usually just a boom, boom, boom process, uh -huh. but because we're actually putting this on video yeah. and doing the steps, it's you, you really learn that when you're explaining stuff, you, you kind of like, in your mind, forget simple things it, just because you're so used to doing it. So this was actually brought back the fun of, of putting this, this amazing patty melt right. together. So, And I'm really excited. We've seen a lot of people who will do a special sauce on the bottom mm -hmm. layer. I had told Brett early on I wanted to put mayo down on the inside, yep. and I almost forgot the step till we were till we were buttering the bread, just to kind of bring out the flavor of the meat and the onions and everything else. We got these to a perfect medium, I'd say. Absolutely. Even closer to medium, well, a slight pink inside, and those juices were crazy. And this is exactly how mom would have done it. So, she always had marbled rice, yes, pumpernickel, yes, sourdough. She loved those breads. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but so we're eating this in memory of her, but also Zach and dad, this one's for you guys. And, Thanks so much for the recommendation. And for everybody else. That, that and for all the other too. recommendations too. You guys uh, talked us into this one. I'm really glad we did it. And it's a relatively simple cook for the Blackstone. So if you do give this a try and it works out for you, let us know. But I'm gonna stop talking because Thank I just you. wanna dig in before Thank Brett. You. Yes. Like we say, it can look amazing. Uh, this looks perfect. <laughs> it can smell amazing. Oh my stars. I smell that bread. It's I so mean, good. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all, all for not. Nut. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm. Mm. Where have you been all my life? I don't know, in all honesty, if there has been a more satisfying outcome that we have done yet. But a few minutes ago I said, Adam, when you take a bite, the, the bread, bread is gonna make you happy. The bread. But those onions, mm. the caramelization, that beef, and it is so juicy. It is so that, juicy. That wash your sister sauce that's in there. Oh, makes and, that and, beef and so good. And it's funny because we put about, what, two to three dashes mm. in, in, the, in the mix. That cheese. Yeah, exactly. But and so, but the, the, the Worcestershire oh. sauce, it doesn't stick out. The thing that sticks out more than anything else is the bread, the bread, and, and then the onions. Swiss. Oh my gosh, and that the Swiss. cheese. Yep. By the way, you, we know you can put any other cheese on here. Yeah. This is a classic with the Swiss. This is the way mom did it. And this is so good. I am beyond satisfied, I'm beyond excited, and this is one that I will absolutely recommend. You might see this one showing up in future cards on our videos because we want people to check this one out. This was really good and something you really should try. I promise you, you won't regret it. No, this you was won't. so awesome. Well, absolutely. But Brett, aside from coming to make these amazing, I'm <laughs> looking at the juices still be pouring out of there. Look at this, look at this. Yes. Oh, I see it. I've got look one right here in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, aside from coming to make these amazing patty melts yep. that have been heavily recommended, especially by some good friends. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And adieu. Forget, Forget to, to like and subscribe. And grit along.